Hello, hello, and welcome to your Wednesday night edition of Stereo Choir. We are going to be editing a drum loop for this indie song I'm working on with Calavera Kid. Okay, so here's the drum loop that I like but don't love. I don't like the double kick right here. It's too busy. Oh, whoops, right here. Yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to make sure my tab to transient is on this button right up here in the top left, which means I click, hit the tab button to the spot that I like all the way to. By the way, this yellow is what we are going to be creating. Get that out of the way and I'll show you. Let me show you what it sounds like. This is what I like it to sound like. All right, boom, boom, without the without the double kick actually. So we're gonna use the tab function here. Let's go to the part that I like. Let's see. Oops. So I don't like the double kick right here. So let's tab our way up there and hit Command E. Grab that, and we'll grab a working track. This could be our work track right here. Down to there. Okay, now I need, what is this part that comes after this? Because we're going to need to fill in this space all the way up until the next, uh, we need to fill all this to there, right? So, to make it sound good, the tempo of this thing is, so a fast, so let's find timing-wise, something that hits the snare pretty quickly, but it's not a kick before it. Right there, I believe. So let's tab there. This is the hi-hat to the snare, I believe. Hi-hat to snare. I want that. Because it's the same as... And then... So I like that. I'm going to command E to cut it. Drag it down. I'm going to control option comma to snap it all the way to the next nearest cut. And now, I believe, let's check this out. Oops, take off that. All right, so we don't want this double kick. We'll end it there with the S button. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh, and go to just the one. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. And then we just loop that, and I believe that is what we have down here. Let's check this out. Alright. And then we've created our own little um, loop that's different than the sample and isn't as busy. And then we can clean it up here if we zoom in with the T key. Let's see here. Let's go to the nearest cut. So let's get rid of, let's, uh, yeah, so this blue stuff we can get rid of because I was doing that to show you. But let's go to this yellow and just clean up where the cuts are with some fades. So let's zoom into here and oh, wrong one. This one, let's just grab it. T goes right into there. So this could start a little sooner, right? We might want it to, it looks like. So I hold command down and drag it to where kind of lines up nice and starts around like there. Command fade that, cross fade. I have this setting is my favorite. And I believe this should be nice. And then we can fill in this extra space we just made to the one. And let's see. Yeah, that sounded nice. So let's get rid of this extra stuff down here because we don't like it. I just made this a nice one. Yeah, with that fade, right? And then we want to make sure that we... Yeah, we're starting close enough on the one. Put a little fade up. Tiny fade. I'm using the command key to do these tiny things. Otherwise, if you don't, 
it'll just jump. See, I'm not even holding command, it just jumps. But if you hold command, you can do little bits. So just a little bit so it doesn't pop. And then, now I'm gonna consolidate. I have a hotkey for it, but you can just go up here and type in consolidate clip and it shows you where it is there. Edit, it's like shift, uh, or command shift, or option shift three, I guess. I have a hotkey on my little stream deck here. Just consolidate that puppy and there we are. <laughs> 